Hi dear children, welcome to our English class. Today we are going to study about uh, grammar portion, present continuous tense. So dear children, we already studied about present tense, isn't it? Uh, in the uh, in textbook A, we have studied about present tense. So uh, when we use present tense, we uh, use present tense to speak about the things that happen regularly or every day. Here you see some examples. Uh, of uh, sentence given in present tense the sun rises in the east the sun rises in the east and in this sentence here you can see the verb is arise and since the um, subject is uh, or the noun is singular here we use s rise not rise the sun rises in the east and Mummy, second example is mummy goes to office every day and see in the first sentence this happens every day it's a universal truth and it, it do not change it, it is not changing it is happening regularly so in that situation we have to use simple present tense see the sun rises in the east every day sun is rising so we have to say the sun rises in the east and see the second sentence mummy goes to office every day the noun mummy is singular so we use here instead of go we use goes mummy goes to office every day so when we uh, talk about the things that happen regularly or every day we have to use present tense and uh, in this chapter we are going to study about the use of present continuous tense present continuous tense and see the uh, let us read this paragraph and uh, then we will better understand the use of present continuous tense Th this is a conversation uh, between two children Saba look at Pooja she is wearing the new dress her mother gave her where is she where is she going so no she is going to watch a movie Saba how do you know that so no she is holding the movie tickets in her hand can you see them Saba ah I see them now what is she eating so no she is eating cotton candy hmm it's look delicious the words and this is the uh, conversation between two children and in this conversation you can see some uh, words are written in red colored letters isn't it so the words in red in the conversation are verbs that talk about the actions are happening now see is wearing is going is holding is eating so these are the verbs or actions that are happening now at present so the verbs are in the present continuous tense and this is is wearing is going is holding is eating so these are verbs and these verbs are in which form is it in present tense no it's in a present continuous tense present continuous tense and see when we use present continuous tense the present continuous tense tells us about the actions that are happening now see now I am teaching English isn't it I am teaching English I am teaching English and the verb is I am teaching so when we talk about the things or the actions happening now we have to use present continuous tense present continuous tense and how do we form present continuous tense in a sentence or if you are given a simple present tense and ask you to convert it into present continuous tense how will you form here you see uh, some examples to form the present continuous tense we have to use is uh, to form um, a continuous a verb form of verb we have to add a verb action word is plus dance plus ing 
is dancing. R plus sing plus ing. R singing. So, present continuous tense. We use is. In a present continuous tense, we use is with the singular nouns and pronouns. You know what are singular nouns and pronouns? When we talk about name of a people, uh, one person, it's singular. Or it, he, she, these all are singular pronouns. So when we talk about singular pronouns or nouns, we have to use is. Action word is. And uh, we use are with the plural nouns and pronouns. Like uh, uh, two, uh, two names, uh, Sonu and Saba are we have to use are they are we are they are uh, you are so uh, the use of is am and are we already learned so remember that in a present continuous tense we use is with the singular nouns and pronouns and are with the plural nouns and pronouns and also we can use are with the pronoun you you know we always use uh, uh, we can always use are with the pronoun you and uh, am when we use am if the noun uh, or if with the pronoun i along with i we have to use am so we in present continuous tense also the use of is is with the singular nouns and pronouns are is with the plural nouns and pronouns and with the pronoun you and am with the pronoun i example here you see mohan it's a singular noun so with the mohan we have to use is mohan is cycling they are singing i am dancing you are studying so these are some examples of present continuous tense so how the form of present continuous tense noun plus is or am or are plus verb plus ing okay that is the form of present continuous tense see mohan m o h a n mohan is cycling Mohan is cycling. So, uh, the um, form of a present continuous tense is noun. This is the noun Mohan. Noun Mohan plus the Mohan, the uh, noun Mohan is singular. So, we have to use is plus cycle. C Y C L E cycle plus ing verb. Along with the verb, we have to add. Uh, ing cycle plus ing cycling then we will get the present continuous tense mohan is cycling see mohan is cycling the next i am dancing i am dancing how it is formed i the pronoun i plus when pronoun i comes we have to use the verb action word am plus dance d a n c e dance plus ing then dance plus ing is dancing understand here uh, singing sing plus ing singing so the the uh, noun the sorry the pronoun they is plural so with the plural uh, pronouns we have to use are then you have to add ing to the verb are plus sing plus ing they are singing in this way we have to form the uh, present continuous tense and here you see some examples underline the verbs in the present continuous tense in the sentences below the first sentence is sujal is eating a banana one is done for you and in this sentence is eating is the verb that is underlined is eating is eating this is the verb and the second sentence the dogs are chasing the rabbit see the dogs it's plural so we use the verb are and 
ing of the verb chasing are chasing then nivi is watching television what is the uh, verb of this sentence is watching you have to underline this one is watching and the monkeys are throwing stones at the visitor so what's the verb here yes are throwing then the next sentence polly is painting a picture what's the uh, verb here is painting how we get painting paint plus ing painting in a present continuous tense along with the verb we have to add ing dance dancing sing singing play playing jump jumping read reading uh, run running eat eating then cry crying beat beating like that okay then uncle is buying a cake what is the uh, verb here is buying is buying so this one you have to underline in your textbook verbs you have to underline so the verb means uh, is am or are plus ing of the verb okay that you have to keep in mind then next exercise is look at the pictures given below and uh, complete the sentences using the present continuous form of the verb given in the box so what is the present continuous form of the verb what is the present continuous form ah, noun noun plus is am or are plus verb plus ing this is the form and here you see in this first sentence ria dash cornflakes in this from this picture we can understand she is eating isn't it so how we will complete it ria it is a singular then we have to use is am or are which one we have to use of course ria is a singular noun we have to use is ria is then take this verb eat in present continuous tense it will become eating cornflakes then second one the children dash to school the children dash to school uh, what did you understand from this picture yes the children go they are going isn't it so the children the word, noun is singular or plural children it's plural so we have to use r a r e children r then uh, what is the continuous form of go it's going children r going to school then next the man dash the car what we do the car yes it's drive isn't it the man it's a singular noun so with the singular noun we have to use the word is then what is the continuous form of drive driving d r i v i n g driving the car then next rohan dash a book what did uh, what does rohan do yes he is reading isn't it so uh, the noun rohan it's a singular so we have to use rohan is what's the continuous form of read reading r e a d i n g reading uh, rohan is reading a book so this also have to write in your textbook hope you understood okay so when we make present continuous form we have to uh, see the noun or pronoun if it is singular we use is if it is plural we have to use are and if it is uh, i the pro if uh, the pronoun is i we have to use am then you have to use the ing form of the verb then the last exercise is read the sentences given below a few of them are in the simple present tense and a few are in present continuous tense so you already know the form of uh, simple present tense then uh, you have to write the simple present tense sentence in that particular column and present continuous tense in the another column you see what two examples we can uh, do uh, discuss here the rest of the things you have to do by yourself then we will check it later here you see priya goes to the park in the morning 
so when we talk about the uh, actions happening uh, every day it should be in a present uh, simple present tense isn't it here you see priya it's a it's a singular noun priya so the verb is uh, goes priya goes to the park in the morning so it is simple present tense so this sentence you have to write in that column simple present tense okay then the next sentence you see sam is chopping vegetables sam is chopping vegetables sam it's a singular uh, noun and with the singular noun we have to use is and here you can see the ing form of the verb then when you see this ing form of verb and the action word is of course it is present continuous tense present continuous tense then the next sentence you see we are playing kabaddi we are playing kabaddi so the noun uh, sorry the pronoun we it's plural and so with the pro plural pronouns we have to use the action word are and here the verb with the ing form playing so if a verb with ing form and a action word in a uh, action word is there it's a present continuous tense so in that way you have to check and write in the uh, column provided here so uh, like this columns are given in your textbook also you have to write there okay then the homework is all these exercises of page number 41 42 and 43 you have to uh, write in the textbook itself okay today's class is over thank you